Hi guys, I'm Saira Kuri. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about 10 common mistakes in interior design. I'll provide you with tips and ideas on avoiding and fixing those mistakes by making your space look high-end and more elegant. Don't feel bad if you have made some of them. The important thing is to learn from those mistakes that we have already made to improve our spaces. Before starting with the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications bell to avoid missing out on the upcoming videos. The first mistake is buying furniture sets. I know it's tempting to buy a set of furniture for the living room, dining room or bedroom because it's easier, but you should avoid it. Having perfectly combined furniture makes the space look boring and predictable, and you miss out on being able to play with contrast by mixing different shapes, colors, and texture throughout your furniture. Contrast and juxtaposition of shapes give that unique touch. When we combine different pieces, the visual result is much more dynamic and attractive, since we obtain a space with an asymmetrical balance, which is much more organic and natural. Avoid making your home look like a store that doesn't reflect your personality and style. For example, instead of buying a set of two identical sofas, buy one sofa, an armchair, and a bench of ottomans. You'll get a much more modern look, it gives you the versatility to reorganize your room depending on your activities, and it can even be cheaper. Instead of buying a dining set, Dare to buy a dining table and combine them with contrasting chairs. You can even vary the models or colors of the chairs, or combine them with benches or armchairs. In that way, you can express your personality, the result is authentic and it looks much more modern and elegant. If you have made this mistake already, Use your creativity to make the most of that set of furniture you already have at home. You can separate the similar looking pieces, put them in different spaces and complete the look in each room with other pieces of different shapes, textures or colors. I assure you, once you start playing and combining different furniture, you'll notice a significant change. All interior designs that stand out for their beauty and originality comply with this specific trick. The second mistake is to use old-fashioned lamps on the ceiling or leave the light bulbs uncovered. This makes a space look outdated. And worst of all, the lighting effect will make your space look and feel uncomfortable. If you have one of these old-fashioned lamps or bulbs without a screen that softens the light, I recommend that you pay attention to this. There are many attractive and cheap options in the market that I assure you will radically change the appearance of your interiors and the lighting effect. If you have a bunch of these old-fashioned lamps at home and you're not ready to change them all, you can start by replacing them by zones. Obviously, starting with the most visible areas in which you spend the most time with your family and friends. If you are in this situation and you want to refresh and make your room look much more elegant, I will leave you a list of some of my favorite models that you can find on Amazon. Another common mistake is having generic and mass-produced artwork. Using these types of artwork, which are genetic or literal images that are already very popular and conventional, don't do anything for your space. It makes your room look generic, boring, and very predictable. And I'm sure that these types of artwork don't truly represent your style and personality. I know that a painting made by an artist is a luxury that not everyone can afford, but I must tell you that you can be creative choosing your art pieces. When buying artworks, try to select those that seem more personalized or made by artists, better yet with abstract shapes and simple compositions. If they come with a frame, much better, since a frame painting looks much more elegant and high-end. You can also dare to paint them yourself. It's simpler than it seems, especially since now the trend is to have 
minimalist pieces composed by textures and basic and organic shapes. I must confess that I have done it for projects which I needed an artwork with precise dimensions that I couldn't find in stores. I believe that we are all artists. The important thing is to explore and dare to create. Just look for inspiration and evaluate the colors you have at home to make your piece of art. Remember that minimalist pieces are very trendy and easy to replicate. I think they are better options than hanging generic artwork that you've seen before. The next mistake is placing curtain rods at different heights when the windows are in the same room. Never place curtain rods at different heights, even if your windows vary in size. Identify the average height of all your windows and position all the curtain rods or rails at the same level. This applies to different but similar windows, not double height windows. If you have double height windows in the same space, place all rods or blinds at the same height for all the big windows in the room. By doing this, the space looks and feels more organized and coordinated, making the room look more unified and in harmony. By the way, in case you're in the process of hanging curtains, I have a whole video talking about curtain mistakes and how to fix them. I'll leave the link up here and in the description below. There you'll learn everything you need to know to place your curtains like a pro. Another common mistake is to add an excessive amount of plants to your interiors. I love nature. I always recommend it indoors. I think plants are necessary to soften and give life, texture and color to an interior. However, we must be careful with the amount we use and how we distribute them in the room. Plants are as expressive as any work of art. In interior design, they are used to create focal points and to add color and texture. That's why it's recommended not to go overboard. We must use them strategically to make our space more sophisticated. It's important to choose only a few plants and distribute them evenly in the space. Take advantage of tall plants in rooms where the furniture has a similar height to emphasize the vertical lines and break the monotony. Use medium-sized plants to soften the shapes and the street angles and lines of furniture and the architecture. Remember that plants in interiors play a role similar to a work of art, so pay attention to every detail. Make sure the plant look and is healthy. Don't forget to put it in a pot that complements the style of your home. This is not expensive. There are many options for pots of different materials and textures or baskets made of natural fibers that can look spectacular in your home. Another mistake I see which is very common is not combining colors correctly and not having consistency in their use. Sometimes we buy things without thinking about how their color will relate to what we already have at home. That doesn't mean that everything we buy must be the same color, but we must ensure that the space looks cohesive. I recommend that you know the color palette you have at home, to have a clear idea of what colors harmonize with your home decor. Identify the dominant, the secondary and accent colors, establish your basic color palette and stick to it when buying new pieces. In this video, we'll learn how easy it is to achieve beautiful combinations using the color wheel. If you want to add another color to your palette, you can use the color wheel to get a perfect color combination. For example, if we use neutral tones at home as the predominant color, and green as the secondary color, you can use accents in complementary colors such as pink or red. You'll get a complementary color scheme. If you prefer a less intense look, you can combine your neutral colors and green with blue and bluish green tones. You'll get an analogous color scheme.
On the other hand, if you prefer a more uniform look, complement your palette using different shades of green within the same hue or color family. You'll get a monochrome color scheme. If you use the color wheel, you will always have harmony in your combinations. If you still don't know how to use it because you haven't seen my video, I leave you the link up here and in the description box below. There you will also find a free guide with the color wheel and the step-by-step -step process to combine colors by yourself. And the following mistake for me is one of the most horrible but the easiest to avoid. And it's to leave the visible cables in the TV area, workspaces, or the wires of table and floor lamps. This looks like a small detail, but it completely ruins a room. It makes everything look clutter. If you can have the wires inside the wall, do it. If it's not possible, organize them and use a core concealer. They are super cheap and you can even paint it the same color as the wall. You can find a concealer like this on Amazon or any local hardware store. Also, try to place the floor and the table lamps near outlets to avoid stretched cables throughout the room. If possible, try to hide the wires behind the furniture to get an uncluttered and clean look. This is a mistake too easy to avoid, so they are no excuses. Another common mistake is using too many cushions. Cushions are necessary for comfort and to add texture and color to interiors, but we shouldn't exaggerate by covering the entire sofa or bed. In fact, sometimes it's uncomfortable to have so many cushions and they can saturate the space with too much information. A few cushions of different sizes, colors, or textures are more than enough. Make sure that the cushions are not the same and that it doesn't look like a repetition of the same element as if it were a catalog. Better yet, they're to mix and match. For example, you can have a cushion of a solid color, one with a floral motif, and another with stripes or similar colors with different textures. This juxtaposition of textures will add volume and dimension to your room. Another mistake is going with too many family photos. Many people like to have photos at home to remember special moments. It's okay, but avoid having photos everywhere. Displaying too many photos will compromise the elegance of your space, especially when they are in standard and outdated frames. If you want to make a family photo gallery, do it authentically and creatively. First, choose a specific wall or area and have the same filter in all photos to be consistent. For example, you can opt for black and white pictures. It looks very nice, it's uniform and very elegant. To make your gallery more dynamic, you can play with a composition of family photos and landscapes of places you have visited. The last mistake is to position all the furniture against the wall. We usually focus on putting the furniture against the wall because we believe it will make better use of the space. This can work in small spaces, but it's not your best option if you have ample space. There to reorganize the positions of your furniture. Separate your furniture from the walls and try different layouts until you achieve a comfortable, attractive and fluid look. Make sure to unify and define your furniture area with a rug of the appropriate size. I hope that you have learned something new and that this information will help you avoid or fix some of these mistakes in your home. If you like this video, hit the like button, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications bell so you don't miss the upcoming videos. Thanks for watching, have a beautiful week, see you in the next one.